any wanafiki ni vyema alivyotajiri idhaa kwa habari zenu akisema watu hawa niheshimu kwa midomo ila mioyo yao iko mbali nani nao waniabudu bure watufundishe mafundisho yaliyo maagizo ya, ya wanadamu mpaka ngapi hapo umefika bwana yesu asifiwe amen bwana yesu asifiwe biblia inatuambia vizuri ya kwamba inatuhadharisha kuhusu wanafiki amen, amen. hypocrites Hallelujah. Amen. I know some of you did so here in school but that's all we did. So let me try and balance. Because I started teaching in so here in the morning at the juju. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Every one of these days past then we will come and teach in so here. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, you hypocrites. Isaiah did prophesy about this generation that we are in that they draw near to God with their mouth but their hearts are far away amen, amen. they honor God with their lips but their hearts do not honor God praise be to Jesus amen. hallelujah amen. praise be to Jesus amen. so what i'd like us to share today we are, we are we are talking about this morning by the grace of God about about pre- preparing for our revival amen. amen preparing for a visitation from the Lord amen. Amen. amen what do we need to do so that the Lord will come and visit us amen, amen. what is it that we must do so that the Lord will come and be with us I don't know about you, but I have gotten to the place of getting hungry. Sitaki ibadaya Sunday, ikutu ni ibadaya Sunday. That Sunday after Sunday, we are just here, we hug each other, we see each other, we bless each other, we sing praise, we hear preaching and we go home. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. That is not my desire. My desire is a one day, it may not even be a Sunday. It could be a midweek. We, we, we just met for prayer. And we go on and go on and go on because God has visited us and there is such a move. And God is doing something new in our hearts, something new in our families, something new in our, in our neighborhood, something new in our city. Amen? Amen? What do we need to do? What do we need to do to have that kind of atmosphere? Vanessa, if you Hallelujah. Amen. And I just want us to begin from this scripture because this is exactly what we must not do. Bwanesu asifiwe. Wakati mwingi kama unajaribu kwenda safari lazima ujiokoe wapi? Sivyo. Kama uko hapa na unaenda Nairobi lazima ujiokoe Mombasa na ujiona kwenda Nairobi ndio jipanga. Bwanesu asifiwe. Mwenye ya Mombasa sio kama mwenye ya Malindi. Bwanesu asifiwe. Malindi itakuhitaji masaa ngapi ufike Mombasa? At least in Lisa moja na nusu, sivyo? So if you're in Malindi, you cannot plan to go to Nairobi the same way a Mombasa person is planning. Kwa Yesu asifiwe. Lazima ujue mahali ambapo uko, kitambo utengeneza ama upange safari yako. Praise be to Jesus. And it is so important in the same way to know where we are spiritually before we can even draw God to us. Kwa Yesu asifiwe. Before we can even say, Lord, we want a revival, it is important to understand where are we. Wanesha sifiwe. Amen. Wakati unaenda kufanya mtihani, lazima ufanye ile ile zoezi. Lazima uji, ujipeane kwa revision and all that so that you see, are you okay? Wanesha sifiwe. If you have a child or you are one of those children as you are growing up, will it transfer shule? Wakati unaenda kwa shule mpya, kuna ile interview. Bwanesha asifiwe. Mm-hmm. Hawengi tu shule mpya ati ati, ati wewe ni wa class 4 umeingia tu. Mm-hmm. Lazima wakujaribu. Waone kama watosha hiyo class ama utarudi. Mm-hmm. Utarudi ya class nyingine. Praise be to Jesus. Mm-hmm. And so before even we think about drawing the presence of God, before even we say Lord, we want a revival, we want your presence. It is so critical that we know where we are. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. And this is what the Lord is putting in my spirit. 
and he's saying to us this morning that we are hypocrites. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. That we are hypocrites mm. because we love God with our lips. Mm. We have a lot of God in our lips, but a very little God in our hearts and very little God in our actions. Lakini mienendo yetu mtu yote kituangalia atasema hawa wa mokoka kwa sababu ya ishara ya nje. Lakini ile ishara ya nje je inatufunulia ina, ina, ina ila kwa moyoni ama vipi? That is what we are looking at this morning. Praise be to Jesus. David understood it and he said that Lord you desire truth in the inward parts. If we are going to experience the glory of God then the revival is not going to be an external thing but it's going to start from within. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And we have to come to a place of being in touch with who we are and where we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the word that kept on coming in my spirit, coming in my spirit as we worship God is pretenders, pretenders, pretenders. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That we are in a place where we are so, we are so comfortable pretending. To make our actors, our next was if you, na ma actress, to na jua ku act u Christo, our next was if you. Since you are Christo, we learn to make no corners work. But we we are actors. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We know how to behave Christian. Mm -hmm. We know how to walk Christian. We know how to talk Christian. But there is no Christianity coming from within our hearts. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. We love God just from the outer. Amen. A lot of lip service to God. But very little, very little true service from the heart. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Wakati mwingi tuwaheza kuja mahali hapa. Na tunatabasamu ya nje lakini kwa kweli umekasirika na mmoja wetu. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lakini unafanya acting, una act in Christo. Praise be to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And you will come and you ma, ma, you know and, and it's all a lie. Mm -hmm. Because on the inside that person that is sitting next to you you're not even happy with them. Mm -hmm. Praise be to Jesus. Mm -hmm. For how long shall we act? For how long Shall we pretend? Mm -hmm. When shall we be true? Praise be to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Did not Jesus speak to us and tell us, when you are coming before me and you know, not you think, you know that you have something against your brother, stop it. Mm -hmm. Make up. Mm -hmm. Then you come to me. How often do we just come to God with baggages on the inside? Mm -hmm. Many times we come before God and we have all we are so rotten inside. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's just is just defiled. Mm -hmm. Praise be to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Don't you feel tired? Don't you get tired of acting? Or oh, you're just fine acting. Do you get tired of acting? Hata wale actors ikimaliza session yao ya kuacta wanakuwa kawaida. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kansima hayuko kansime siku zote. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Atafanya kansime apate pesa. Kishamaliza na ukansime atakuwa kansime bibi ya mtu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But why do we act every single moment every single day of our life? Hallelujah. Bwana hiyo asira isitoke jinsi ilivyo upate usaidizi. Bona hiyo kiburi isijionyeshe jinsi ilivyo upate usaidizi. Bona hii chuki ambayo iko ndani isichipuke ndio tuweze kujoweni mtu aina gani ndio upate usaidizi. Why are we going on and on and on acting? And God did prophesy through Isaiah that there is a generation of hypocrites. They were not in the world, they were in the church. Mm -hmm. That is why I don't want us to think somebody who is not here should have heard this message. Mm -hmm. This is our message. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. We who are born again, we who are saved, all of us who are saved here, this is our message. How true are we if God came right now 
and amulike kila mioyo hapa tutajipata tukiwa vipi will you be happy anyone here lift up your hand if you are true that you can that if god alete mlika yake sasa hizi wewe uko tayari amulike see the stuff in our heart utaki hata yangaziwe na na nuru praise be to jesus because we know what's going on inside it's not what is in our lips it is not what is in our actions it is one only on the inside manesha sifi kids cannot pretend because they are children so ile iko ndani itaonekana lakini tukishakuwa watu wazima kuna vile tunaishi na kuna vile tunafanya vitu we perfect praise be to jesus we perfect some way of doing things and the lord is not happy about it hallelujah the lord is not happy about it he will not come to a people that are pretending he will not god hates hypocrites one is as if you and the church is full of them we are in church every single day unangotea mwingine na unajua kweli ungekuwa na uwezo ungefinya vingine bwana yesu asifiwe may the lord have mercy on us that we may come out and be true praise be to jesus afadhali ukae nyumbani ama useme kwenye roza siku anajisikia lakini nimekaa praise be to jesus you be true because unless we are true you can never get help unless we are sincere you will never get help praise be to jesus praise be to jesus amen ushao na mjuaji amesaidika hmm si mtu akiwa mjuaji unamwacha hata kama unajua ile kitu alikuwa anafanya haistahili utamwacha tu endele na ujuaji akifika mahali ambapo amefikia ukuta tuambia nilikuwa na ngoja tu sasa uko katika nafasi ya kuweza kunisikiza because if i told you at that time you would not have listened praise be to jesus Amen. and so sometimes the lord allows us to go through a season until we get to a war because sisi ni wajuaji so atawaza kufukuta na tukishafukuta ndo tugeuke ndo aseme hmm now you're ready come praise be to jesus Amen. hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. praise the lord Amen. are we ready for god to show up Are we ready for revival? Are we ready to allow the presence of God to be in our midst? Are we really ready? Or we are fine with doing church. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. You may be in the best church but doing church is not it. But there's a few. Mm-hmm. There is something more. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. There is something more Lily. It's not just about doing church. we have got to desire something more than just coming here on sunday mm-hmm. something has got to happen in our life monday to monday mm-hmm. something's going to happen to our life when we are alone mm-hmm. no other person is with us mm-hmm. something has got to begin cooking up on the inside lazima tuchoke na maisha yetu ya 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 kisasa hii ambayo tuko nayo tukue na maisha imebadilika one as if you move on to say it should say that to me god help me god have mercy on me he should have mercy on us amen amen he should have mercy on us because we cannot go on like this brethren we cannot one as if you at ways a generation has passed and there is a generation that is also passing and god forbid that our generation also goes by to kendele tuna hiyo mtindo bwana yesu asifiwe in the bible just before the coming of jesus there was a dry spell of 400 years there was no God. there was nothing no word of god nothing bwana yesu asifiwe the last of those prophets was prophet malachi hallelujah prophet malachi said some heavy stuff the only thing we know about malachi is tight but next as if you that's if that's what every pastor knows he prophesied more than tight praise be to jesus he said that before the great and dreadful day of the lord before the great and dreadful day of the lord i will release the spirit of elijah Amen. Amen. And the spirit of Elijah shall is a spirit that draws people back to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 
The spirit of Elijah is the spirit that draws sons back to God. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. That is a spirit that the Lord releases before he comes. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. That is a spirit that you continue to hear. If you want to hear and if you want to know the season we are in and a true test of the word of God, it is a spirit of Elijah in this hour. Amen. Anybody that is drawing us back to God, anybody that is drawing us back to mending relationships, that is the voice of the spirit. Amen. Not about yourself. It's not about us anymore. Hallelujah. Amen. Drawing the fathers to the sons and the sons to the fathers. Mm -hmm. The spirit of God in this season does not want us to pretend anymore. Mm -hmm. If you have something against somebody, make it right. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the spirit of Elijah. That is the spirit that will come and that is now before the presence and the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we ready? You know, we think God is 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 a He's a fearful God. When he comes, nobody can stand before him. Nobody can stand, nobody, no human soul can stand before the mighty God. If Jesus was to come right now, all of us would be slain. Nobody, no flesh can stand before God. No, none. None. Even the holiest cannot stand. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That is why it's called a dreadful day. It is a day of reckoning. But I shall see if you. Ni siku ya, ni siku ya ku, ya ku, ya ku babanua. Siku ya kesi. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. It's time that the things that are inside become the very things that, that you, you don't mind God opening up your heart and showing it to the world. Hallelujah. Mm. Who is ready to allow your heart to be opened up and every other person to see? Nobody here can say that with courage. Because we know our heart is evil. Mm. Hallelujah. Dabi me jamle that. Usinzi meja kumle ndani. Usherati meja kumle ndani. Kiburi, kila kitu kiku. Kichafu kikuko nani. Praise me to Jesus. Lakini nje, maridati. Ndani, is another story. Praise be to Jesus. The spirit of Elijah is the spirit that draws us back to God. Makes us begin to value our relationship with God. Hallelujah. There is a man that came from God. That man is called John the Baptist. John the Baptist came with the, with, in, in, that, in that office. Hallelujah. John the Baptist is a type of Elijah. Amen. Amen. And he came to do exactly that thing. That's why they were asking, who, who is this man? Open your Bible in the book of Luke chapter 2. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Luke chapter 2. Are you there? Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's chapter 3. Luke chapter 3. Somebody could read from verse 1. My like key verse is in verse number 4. But I want us to read from verse 1 to verse 4. Somebody read for us. 
in the 15th year of Tiberius Caesar's reign, yeah. when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, mm. and Herod was the, was the terror of Galilee, mm. and his brother Philip, tetrarch of the region of Iturea and Chachonites, and Lysanias, tetrarch of Abilene, in the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God, concerning the attainment through Christ for salvation is the kingdom of God, came to John, the son of Zachariah in the wilderness. Mm. And he went into all the country, mm. round about the Jordan, mm. preaching a baptism of repentance, mm -hmm. that is of heartily amending of their ways with abhorrence for past wrongdoing, unto the forgiveness of sin. One I shall see for you. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. He is a voice crying where? Mm -hmm. A voice crying where? Praise be to Jesus. We may not be experiencing the wilderness of, a, of, of, of the children of Israel, but there is a level of wilderness that every single one of us might be going through. One mm extra -hmm. And so this voice is speaking into our wilderness. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. This voice is speaking into our wilderness, and it is the voice of repentance. The voice of repentance, you know, in the in the Amplified, it brings it out well. She was reading from the Amplified. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And repentance, in it, it interprets, it is of a hearty amending of their ways with abhorrence of past wrongdoings. That is heavy. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. It is it's, it talks about a hearty amending of their ways. Yani, in a manisha, kubadilisha menendo yetu kwa kumandisha na kwa yetu wote. Hallelujah. Heartily. You amend your ways with the same way you passionately went to the wrong direction. It's the same way you passionately mend your ways. Hallelujah. Amen. You do it with everything that you have. Whether people will like you or not, you say, you know what, I have chosen this path. You change your route completely with all your heart. That's what it means. Amending our ways with all of our heart. Praise be to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Are all the ways in your life pleasing to you? When you all went to the Lesha Maisha, you know, I'm a Ridika. How do you Ridika? Sinio? Sikuna to Vingino Nafana on a good one too. Because we are in this flesh, there are some things that you will do. Kuna Siras in Guinness, it's a Kupano, say, hey, Pastor George. Get saved, you know? <laughs> because, because you just went off. One extra if you. Because you just went off. And those are the things that we are saying with everything within us. Let us amend our ways. Let us amend our ways. That is the baptism of repentance. One extra if you. It is not changing things that you don't know. I have told us this a hundred million times. So now when you unatubu na sema Mungu nisamehe ile hata sijui. Unajua. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wakati ulikuwa unaingia pale roho inakuduta tu. Inakuduta tu. And you know it, you know it. Hallelujah. You know it you wait for darkness to get in a bit. Hallelujah. Ndio uingie vizuri. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. I hope hakuna kushika hapa na nyuma. Hallelujah. And then you get in. Praise be to Jesus. And when you get in you greet each other with sin. Namna salimia namna kwa marafiki na dhambi hivi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Namna shikana chana na pete alafu ukikuja upande huu mwingine unatupatia salamu za Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is our walk. He says in the same way when you look unafanya fanya hivi unasema Mungu wasinione Mungu. Tena natumia Mungu eh. Mungu wasinione wasinione you know. And you get in that's the same way you should come out and say no. 
I am coming out of what I know. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Of what mm. I know. Not what I don't know. All these things we do, we know. It's about time that we get out of the ways that we know are not pleasing before God and turn back to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's time that we stop foolishness and get back to God. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Do we want Jesus or do we want church? You know, if you want church, then, then uh, we, can, we, can, we can stop this and go back to church. Hallelujah. <coughs> because if we want Jesus, something has got to change. Something has got, has got to change. Lazimo maanisha wakatu na achana Listen to the second part. It says, and abhorrence with past wrong doings. What that means? Yagi lazima uwe na chuki. Kwa kwa vitendo maovu ambavyo uko na tena praise be to jesus mm. god has worked it in such a way that you hate what you are doing wrong when mm. as if you come on kwa mlevi how kai na pombe na useme i have overcome you pombe wewe nimekushinda pombe you hate it hallelujah you don't love it you say hmm unafikiri utanitenga tena hapana hauna ushirika na pombe tena just leave it alone. Leave it. Hallelujah. Hate it. That's what the Bible is speaking to us. It says hate that thing. Hallelujah. You know, I'm just talking about the outer ones, but you know the inner ones that you that the Lord is You know it. Amen. Those are the things the Lord is saying. Depart from it. Run away. Hate it. It is time that we hate pretense. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It is time that we hate pretense. This time when John the Baptist is showing up, the church was doing extremely well. They were rich. The churches were doing well. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. To date, if you go to Israel, I am told there are many Jews that are still waiting for the Messiah. Because when he came, he didn't come in the way they expected. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. And things were going on well. Praise be to Jesus. Mm-hmm. We are in that season where men are being blessed. The church is extremely being blessed materially. Amen. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. I don't mind us being millionaires. But where is your heart? Is your heart in the millions? Or is your heart with your God? Hallelujah. Lazima tufanye zoezi ndani ya Roho Mtakatifu mpaka tukue mahali ambapo hiyo pesa iko kwa iko inatufuata. Sio wewe unatafuta. Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Will we hate sin? Will we run away from sin? Or will we just love it? Praise be to Jesus. Mm-hmm. Will we just fellowship with sin like it is our body? That is what the Lord is speaking to us this morning. And he's saying to us, I hate pretends. Pretenders. I don't know whether it is a saying or it is in the Bible. Pretenders are also not as equal. But I don't think it's in the Bible. People think it's in the Bible. I don't think it's in the Bible. It must be a saying. But there was. That's the truth. That's the truth. There was. Where Ebu Ebu Angalia Benye Benye Judas Salita Basamu na Yesu. Na kumbe na msaliti. Zio ni iyo ni ba kuli kokiwe. But there was a few. It is worse than than a murderer. Pretenders. So how many murder? How many more than murderers are in the house today? Hallelujah. Because you are pretenders. How many more than murderers are in the house today? Hallelujah. Angalia venye sisi ni wawaji. Bila 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 huruma. Hallelujah. Tunaoana bila huruma. Hallelujah. Bila bunduki pia. Hallelujah. Hamna bunduki lakini mwaana kweli kweli. God have mercy on us. God have mercy on us. We are talking about getting ready for the presence of God to come in. 
Hallelujah. Mm. Getting ready for a revival. Getting ready for an ushering of God's presence. Before that great and dreadful day, if you read Malachi chapter 4, you will see it. It speaks about it. And he says, before that day, I will release the spirit of Elijah. Amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. And I'm, 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 I'm taking us through, uh, through prophet, uh, prophet John the Baptist so that we can begin to understand from that moment. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse Amen. number four. As it is written in the book of, of the words of Isaiah the prophet. Yes. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, mm. shouting in the desert, mm. prepare the way of the Lord, mm. make his beaten parts straight. Mm-hmm. I love the amplifier. He's saying, Praise be to Jesus. Mm-hmm. Those who happened to travel to Nairobi just before Obama came to Kenya, it was, it was a drama. It was a drama. It was a drama. It was a drama. Because of one Mr. Obama who was coming to Kenya. Mm. Praise be to Jesus. Mimi ni liona wame import mchama siju kuto kwa wapi. Kwa nasi wa sifiri. Wame import mbolea siju kuto kwa wapi. You know, and this has just been done on the Mombasa road. I saw things on that Mombasa road. I was like, what? Because a man is coming. Praise be to Jesus. Mm. Hizo barabara zilikuwa zimechapwa zimetengenezwa zinakata barabara zinakapoa sana Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mm-hmm. And the Lord is speaking and he's saying those beaten parts make them straight because he's coming. He's coming. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. The Lord is coming. He's coming and he's coming he wants to find our roads straight. Praise be to Jesus. Mm-hmm. He wants to come and find our hearts in the right place. He wants to come and find us not washy washy wishy washy. He wants to come and find us to Kostambaba. Are you going to prepare for him? What are we just going to leave? Oh, I'm going to come out of the house. I'm going to come out of the house. What are you going We who are waiting for him will fix our eyes. I shared that the other time. You will set your affection on things about him because you know he's coming one day. Hallelujah. Don't sit to your your eyes on things that you can see. Right now, kila machu ya kila mbiko lebo. Because unataka zile kutuwe zaona. Hingari, hallelujah. Hingumba, hallelujah. Hivazi. Tukutua. Hakuna machu inangale ju. Because we are just on the material, material, material. Hallelujah. Praise be to Jesus. May the Lord help us to lift our eyes above the things that are temporal that shall, shall perish one of these five days. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. I know you don't like my message. It almost feels like I don't want I don't want you to be rich. <laughs> I don't want you to be rich in the material things. I want you to first be rich in Christ. Amen. If you can gain Christ, Amen. then I will have done a good job. Amen. If the Lord chooses to release the wealth, blessed be Jesus. Amen. If he chooses to withhold it so that he may gain our life, Amen. so be it. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What shall it profit a man? What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul in hell? What nation is it? Now we see, 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 one nation is free. You must get out of the country. You appear on the You know, and you're jumping, jumping everywhere instead of fixing our eyes on him. Let's make straight the path. Let's make straight the path for the coming of our Lord. One nation is free. Let's make straight the path for the coming of our Lord. You want him to walk at the Nakuja, Akupato, you are tired. One nation is free. As you are off. That is what the voice of, of, of John the Baptist was doing. God sent John the Baptist to prepare hearts for the coming of Jesus. Hallelujah. And he was there to change their focus. Change their focus. 
I have news for us. The move of God that is about to happen will bypass a very large proportion of the church because they, they are not ready. Hallelujah. When Jesus came, he did not come in the familiar. Hallelujah. Mm. What a happy in synagogue. Yes, happy in the synagogue. No, but the sheep was in the world. Hallelujah. And John the Baptist is a voice where? Is a voice where? And the Lord is saying, I am calling you out of the box. I am calling you out of the family. I am calling you out because you will not find him in a church setting. I am sorry. This move of God you will not find in a church setting. You will find it in a little prayer meeting somewhere. You will find it in a little house where a woman is being harassed by the husband, but they have given themselves to God and say, Lord, have mercy upon me. Pour your love on me. Share your love with me. Give me a heart like yours. It will meet a man somewhere who is so troubled because of life's affairs, and he's so drawing to God and saying, Lord, a sinner man that I am. That is where God is going to show up. He's not going to show up in a place that has a good surround. Hallelujah. A place that has sophisticated equipment. A place that has microphones. Every singer is singing from microphones that are clipped to their shirt. That is not how it's going to come. Forget it. He will come in a way that you don't even expect. He started in the desert. And he said, you guys are waiting in the synagogue. The move is where? In the desert. Did not the Pharisees follow him in the desert? Because there was nothing happening in the synagogues. They were beautiful. They were receiving tithe. But there was no God. Hallelujah. Everybody that was in church was just waiting for a true voice from God. And when they heard the voice of it, it did not matter whether it was in the wilderness or not. They went. It did not matter whether he was in a three-piece suit or he was in a sheepskin. They went. Hallelujah. Amen. It did not matter to them anymore the looks because today, Lazimo when he passed upon the looks. When I saw the La picanyole kidogo do, yone kane, anointing yiko. Hallelujah. God forbid that I should cook my hair so that I look good. Hallelujah. Amen. There was nothing like that in John the Baptist. Hallelujah. Amen. Mtu mwana anajivisha ngozi. There was nothing like that. There was something deeper. There was something that was drawing people to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Not to men, but to God. That's the spirit of Elijah. The spirit that draws men back to their maker, not to a man of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That is a that is a hellish message that is going on. Hallelujah. Amen. It is from hell. Hmm? You're a man of God. You're a man of God. You're a man of God. My there is no my man of God. There is only one God. He is called Jehovah. We better direct all our eyes on him and not to a man of God somewhere. Not even me. Hallelujah. Amen. The spirit of Elijah draws people back to God, not to a man. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The only man level is relationships. Hallelujah. We look unto Jesus. The author and the finisher of our faith. One is as if you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's turn to one more scripture in the book of Joshua chapter 5. Is somebody desiring God in your life? Are you? Yes. Are you desiring God in your life? Yes. Will you withstand all the shame and the heartache and the pain so that you may find God? Mm. Will you take will you take every crap in your life so that you may find God? Because I tell you for a fact that it's not gonna be easy to find him and follow him. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, Nafkiri, then we have been deceived. 
it is not it is not easy following Jesus. This flesh ni government yake mwenyewe. Hallelujah. Na hii government inataka kuingia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. This government does not want to bow to Jesus. So it's not going to be easy even the war within. Kabla hata wengine wengine waingie. Ile war yako kibinafsi wewe mwenyewe. Hiyo vita ni vikali kweli kweli. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord have mercy on us. May the Lord have mercy on us as the church of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. This is a voice in the wilderness cry. Prepare the way of the Lord. I want us to look at some wilderness experience. Yo kweli sasa. Hallelujah. Amen. Some true wilderness experience. Hallelujah. Amen. These were the children of Israel. Amen. Amen. Are you on Israel? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Now. They have been in the desert for how many years? 40 years. Hallelujah. Amen. Wala ba walitoka wamekuwa wamezeeka wamekufa. Wengine wamezaliwa praise be to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Those who are above, above 40 here are very countable. Amen. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. Those who are about 40 here are less than 5. Hallelujah. Amen. Now think about it. You are born in the wilderness. Amen. Amen. So now this is this is our message. This is the message of the people in this room. Hallelujah. Amen. Where you are going to now begin to hear what the Lord required of them who are born in the desert place. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the truth of the matter is Some of us have been born into 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 the wilderness. Kwa nasa sifiwe. Haujajui haujajui uzuri tangu zaliwe. Umepitia tu shida tu shida tu shida tu shida tu. Haleluya. Magumu hapa magumu hapa magumu hapa. Kwa nasa sifiwe. Haujaona uzuri wote. Umeona changamoto kila upande. Praise be to Jesus. So in your life there is there is yet a desire to experience God in a way that you've never experienced it. So I want us to look at this these guys. They have come from the wilderness. Somebody read for us from verse number 2. We're going to read to almost verse number 9. Joshua chapter 5. From verse number 2. That time the Lord said unto Joshua, Make thee sharp knives mm. and circumcise again the children of Israel the, sec- the second time. I like that. Buonesa to you. Amen. Buonesa to you. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. Now the Lord is speaking and is saying to us here, or he was saying through Joshua, he was telling them, this is time I want you to sharpen the knife. Hallelujah. Amen. Make ready the knife. Why is the knife being sharpened? The knife is being sharpened to circumcise. The children of Israel are second time. Oh yes Lord. Yes Lord. One extra if you. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. How many are saved? Yes, the knife is coming a second time. Ah, praise be to Jesus. Amen. The knife is coming a second time. You know, nakana kwanza ni to Peter. Now the Lord is saying, get the knife sharp. And that is why the Lord is on our case. When I saw you feel you want the Lord why are there is not getting hard messages why is it on the earth? Kama ujisikii kutairiwa kuna kingine utaenda tu ujibinjani. Hallelujah. Hapa tunaingia ni mali za kutairiwa. Hallelujah. Oh it sounds so crude. Amen. But it is so important. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So sharpen your knife Joshua sharpen it. Sharpen it is it's time to do something. Because these guys cannot enter into the land without this thing being done. One extra if you. There is no way the children of Israel can enter into the promised land without circumcision. There is no way you're going to experience the presence of God without repentance. Hallelujah. Amen. There is no way you will invite an usher in God without repentance. You will not inherit the promised land without circumcision. I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. We are talking about receiving God. We are talking about receiving the promise. 
the promise which is the glory of God, which is Jesus himself, you will only get him if we will allow the sharp knife. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 If we will allow They circumcise somewhere very 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 guarded. Praise be to Jesus. Mm. They somewhere very hidden. Mm. They somewhere very 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 mm. be to Jesus. Mm. And that is where the sharp knife is coming. Mm. That is where God needs something to change. The change has to be on the inward part and not the outer. Circumcision is not on the outer things. Mm. The things that can be seen by men. Circumcision is on those things in the inside that no man can see. Mm. That is where God is targeting with his sharp knife. Mm. He's not targeting the things that everybody can see here. Mm. As you know, angel. You know, angel. What picky? Missy, you know. So as you know, who can you give a palace in your missy? As you know, is the outer. What is the root? That is where the sharp knife is going. Hallelujah. Amen. He is going into the very root of every single one of our hearts. Amen. What is hidden in there? That is what is after. Sharpen the knife a second time. Sharpen the knife. It is time for them to be circumcised. Marangapi. Marangapi. So I thank God we all, we all received the first circumcision. So now God is getting us ready for the second circumcision. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is a circumcision of something on the inside. Hallelujah. Amen. It is the reproductive part. Vanessa, if you. It is the reproductive part of both male and female. True or not true? True. So God desires truth on the heart. For out of the abundance of the heart, the out of the abundance of the heart, so it is not your mouth speaking, it is your heart speaking. So apple do kiss in a kucha. Kiss in a kucha kwa kila kore. Where we ended up on gap, she's not a bit more. Hallelujah. Amen. Ju to not do a chance. See you, see you, see you, see you, see Praise be to Jesus. Amen. That is where God is targeting. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. So Joshua did what in verse 3? Joshua made him sharp knives. Yes. And circumcised the children of Israel mm -hmm. at the heel of the false kings. Praise be to Jesus. Mm -hmm. He circumcised. We know what circumcision is. Go ahead and pass it away. Nikutuwa ngozi ya wapi? Yanje. Kutuwa ile ngozi yanje. Praise be to Jesus. Because it is the one hindering. Praise be to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, for men who are not circumcised, mm. if they do not take care of their shower times very well, they will become very dirty. Mm. If you are not circumcised, 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 if you are you are open to God. Amen. You are open to God. We Amen. need the first kid to come out. Amen. 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 Somebody do this with me. Just do it with me one more time. Do it one more time. Taking the mask off. Hallelujah. We are getting the mask off. Hallelujah. Amen. Your mask is the one that is Vanessa Sifiri. Hii mtu wa nje ambao tunaona tunaona ni mzuri kama si mzuri tuambie si mzuri. Tutapiga magoti tuombe pamoja tuamini Mungu pake iko mzuri iko mzuri ya nje ndio ile ya ndani. Praise be to Jesus. It's time to remove the mask. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Unaona ile season ya Halloween? Huko America. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Watu wanajificha jificha. Mm-hmm. Chini ya mavazi. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Praise be to Jesus. Mm-hmm. That is you know it is one of the most demonic times in, 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 in the US. Because people guys themselves. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Yeye ndo siku hata kama unataka kutoka kutongoza mtu ambaye pengine hauja umepokitamani tu juu sasa umeva hivyo you can access hallelujah and halloween doesn't happen in the day it's in the night praise be to jesus ni nini ambao tunaficha what is it that we are hiding it's time to remove the mask it's time to remove the mask bwana yesu asifiwe it's time to remove the mask to remove the force Jesus lazima itoe hiyo kitu hichi. Let's go. And this is the cause why Joshua did circumcise mm. all the people that came out of Egypt mm. that were males mm. even all the men of war of war, war mm. died in the wilderness mm-hmm. by the way mm. after they came out of Egypt this is why they are being circumcised while they were while they were all of them the men who are the fighters they all died when they were sifiyo they all died and now these people must go on now all the people that came out were circumcised while they were in Egypt when they were sifiyo so even before they left the land of captivity they had to be circumcised to be free. So now these guys are in the wilderness, they don't know what this circumcision is all about. Mm-hmm. But all the people that were born in the wilderness mm. by the way as they came forth mm. out of Egypt, mm. them they had not circumcised. Yes. For the children of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness. Yes. Till all the people that were men of war of war which came out of Egypt were consumed mm-hmm. because they had because they obeyed not the voice of the Lord why were they consumed why did they die because they did not hear the voice of God hallelujah that is why they died go on and to whom the Lord swore mm. that that he would not shew them the land mm. with the Lord swear and to his and to their father that he would give us mm. a land that floweth with milk and honey hallelujah Amen. praise be to jesus Amen. this is what the holy spirit is speaking to us before you enjoy the land flowing with milk and honey circumcision before you enjoy the presence of god repent However much we want the presence of God, however much we want revival, unless repentance happens, forget. Unless we walk in obedience, forget. It is disobedience. You see, so, so the wilderness is a place of testing. Is a place where God tests our obedience to see whether we will obey. If we obey in the wilderness, then you're ready to get into the promised land. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise be to Jesus. Amen. There is a land, but that land will look for people that are obedient to the voice of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Are we going to obey? Yes. Are we going to obey? Yes. There is something that is important when every circumcision happens. I want you to read the next two verses, then I can now summarize. And their children, mm. whom he raised up in their stead, them Joshua circumcised, for they were uncircumcised. Because they had not they had not circumcised them by the way, mm. it came to pass when they had done circumcising all the people that they abode in their place in the camp 
till they were home. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from off you. Wherefore, the name of the place is called Gilgal unto this day. Praise be to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Praise be to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Anytime that anyone is going through circumcision, there is a period called healing period. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. After you go through the knife, you cannot just go about your activities. Wanaesha sifiwe? Wanaume uwa wanava suka. Kuhila masiku ini? Nazima tuvae suka kwa sababu hawezu kabaki nyasa. Kwa sababu kuna uchu, kuna uchu. Na uwezi ukaenda vita kwa sababu ujapona. Wanaesha sifiwe? And so the Lord is speaking to us and he's saying, let us not be in a hurry to call the presence of God if first of all we have not been circumcised. And the circumcision does not end until you are made whole, until you heal. Until you heal. Praise be to Jesus. You never had a tairiwa. Ata fikisha ni wiki moja Ambe ya mjaribu kinyasa Akifana akose kusikia maumivu Then now something is happening Praise be to Jesus They are ready to come from that place You know when 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 I was when I was growing up There's an aunt of mine Who Was working in Moy University in Lauren And in the month of August Hiyo dokwezi ambao Wanaume waki waki nani uwa na taidio wana taidio wakule bad forest. So I was taking a walk, you know. So many kaskia tu kelelen kama ya vida. You know the forest iko tu hapa ibo na mina teme hapa. My friend, my friend, how I don't want to make a taidio. I was like they are praying while one another could be winda. I don't know. Mungu alieka alieka pumps kwa mungu. I remember my life. They were running. You know you see them in the in the fence. Wanaenda hivyo mbio na wewe ndio huyo. Hey. My friend. You know because they are they are agitated, they are mad. Wanataka ku kuna kwa kitu na kama kwa kitu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Because they're in pain, so they're looking for something they can they can do. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And that is why wako huko wana winda sana. One of the nine man they, they, they try and, and tear them apart. What am I saying to us? I'm saying to us when the Lord begins to use a knife on us, Uta kwa moody, Uta kwa na my reaction, one is as if you how to go away. One is as if you happen to Sasa, what does Sasa not a woman who may pick you a killer put a warning come on. You know, you will just get mad with everybody. Because a knife has come and it is working on the inside. So you will be you will be mad with everybody. Every left, right, and center. And that is why Joshua was told, do not let the children of Israel leave that place until they are made whole. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, so when God is removing those things, you can find out that 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 you can that we all recognize that when somebody is going through circumcision, you bear with them. You bear with their bad manners. Paka wapo, paka wapo. When I shall see you. Hallelujah. Kama umesha wai piti akutahin, then you will know how to deal with somebody who is going through it, because you know the pain. So when you have been healed of the Lord because of some wicked things on the inside, when somebody else is struggling in the same area, you have tolerance for them. You have patience for them. Paka uone wamefanyanini? Wamefadilika? Wanaesha sifiwe? It is so important 
that if we want to see revival, if we want to experience the move of God, that we allow the word of God to circumcise us. Let us allow the knife of the word. The word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword to the piercing asunder of the bone and marrow and the thoughts and the intents of our hearts. Vanessa, if you are my wife, happen to you, Pam, or Nenu, and I could Why are you thinking the way you're thinking? You think I think like that? That's the spirit of God talking to you. Hmm? Is that the way I think? Kill it, kill it now. Unase upanga unakata manipani. Vanessa, if you you let the upanga take control of that part, and you don't move until you heal. Vanessa, if you how do we know that something has healed? Come on, come on, we are. Vanessa, if you will. See, see, go to your father, see the talk. You go to the in a bokuja, Unayona, a laugh, Lazima, you could take a black, 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 a laugh, you talk. Just say, but it's out. Vanessa, if you you have to know it is out by trying it. Eh? See, you have to start this to good end. So there is a testing. There is a testing on everything that has been circumcised. Lazima jaribu ikuje tuonekana umepona ama hujapona. Ukireact na jo hujapona. Hallelujah. Bado baki tu hapo. You just remain you're not yet ready to get into the promised land. Just remain there. Hallelujah. Tutaguza guza continually until when we actually recognize that you are well. And it is only at that point that you move away. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord is looking to roll away some sins, to roll away some habits, to roll away some characters out of us so that we are open for a revival. Amen. But it's not going to happen until we allow God to circumcise us. Amen. And at the point of circumcision, there is healing. And after healing, there is a walk of obedience before you get into the promised land. One as was a few. One as was a few. Praise be to Jesus. May the Lord have mercy on us. May the Lord deliver us from pretense. Let us not be hypocrites. May the Lord have his way in each of our hearts. Let's arise in Jesus' name. Just want us to do this on Katika Uwepo Wako. Kuna Utoshi Lezi. Kuna Ukamili. Kuna Ushini. And then we will take some time to just allow God to circumcise our hearts. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Let's allow the Spirit of God to circumcise each of our hearts. So I'm going to ask my sweetheart to just lead us in that. Amen. Amen.